Dodrio has always been the strongest flying type Pokemon for as long as it has existed. But not really because it's actually pretty booty, but it's kind of cool and here's what you can do with it. Its base 110 speed allows it to actually be pretty quick, and paired with its base 110 attack, there's definitely some damage to be had within the fluff ball. It gets access to Swords Dance and solid moves in Brave Bird, Knock Off, and Coverage with Drill Run, however we can catch people off guard with Endure. This allows you to guarantee a live from the next attack with 1 HP. Dodgeria can then pop a Lychee Berry to raise its attack one stage, and then we toss in the move Flail. At 1 HP after the Endure, this brings it to being a 200 power move. Factor in the boost from Terra Normal, and you've got yourself a Dodrio that can become an absolute demon. Alright, look, I don't care if there's a ton of better options to use than Dodrio. Things like this are just kind of fun, and we're gonna mess around with the helicopter bird today. If you're into that kind of thing, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free, I'm on my way to 400k, and you really help out the channel. And let's go ahead and jump into the match. Alright, so my opponent is gonna go ahead and lead off with the Infernape, and I decide to toss out the Swampert. It's like we're playing Wi-Fi battles on Platinum out here, and I'm all here for it. Now, Infernape has the option to run something like Grass Knot, so I'm kind of hesitant if I want to switch here, but I just decide to go ahead and set up the Stealth Rock. I kind of expect them to go for something like the U-Turn Pivot Turn 1, however they are gonna be Stealth Rock Infernape. I don't know where Buddy gets the rocks from, but he throws them out, and we're just gonna go ahead and trade some Stealth Rock here. So. I'm actually sitting in a pretty good spot to try to grab some momentum. Knowing that this thing definitely wants to switch out here, whether it's U-turn or just a hard switch, I can actually predict that, go for a flip turn of my own, and try to get a matchup on what they decide to bring in. So, they're gonna end up going directly into a Blastoise. Guy's looking pretty badass with his new model, and honestly, this guy slaps your girl's ass, what are you doing? I personally decide to go for the flip turn. I get out of here as soon as possible, and now I can figure out kind of what I wanna do here. Now. I don't know a whole lot about this Blastoise and kind of what it wants to do other than eat a bunch of protein and go to the gym, but I imagine it's either going to be, you know, a rapid spin more defensive support mon or it's a shell smash kind of sweeper Blastoise. I'm thinking it's, it wants to come in and go for that rapid spin. So I go into the ghost type in the form of the Petrarunt and I'm just going to try to hit it with a malignant chain, get some solid damage, the potential for the poison. Honestly, just mashing that <laughs> poison button on this thing, confusing them is... Uh, honestly insane with this, but they actually have different plans and decide to go for the Terra Steel Predicting the poison move now the malignant chain no longer works He now, now this thing has a damn axe on his head if he didn't want to look any more extreme And they end up being the shell smash so I completely misread the situation And now I find myself kind of on the back foot here in terms of uh, some momentum here as this Blastoise is now extremely scary I don't take special attacks well with the Petrarunt and it also has a freaking white herb to bring its stats back to normal that were dropped. So, very scary Blastoise, even scarier than before. And I decide I gotta get my ass out of here. Petrarunt does have some good value later on. If I can get through this, and I essentially just decide to sack the Zeb Striker here. I bring in Zapadash, and I just kind of imagine either a Hydro Pump, something like a Surf. But they're actually gonna end up going for the Flash Cannon. The Stab Flash Cannon, now being Steel type, is not gonna quite kill me because. At least I'm an electric ass zebra. However, this thing is now faster than me because of the shell smash. And to put some salt in the wound, they even go for the rapid spin to finish me off just to flex and get another speed boost. So this may be the fastest damn turtle of all time and I need a plan. So here's my best option. Listen, I got a guy that's got some boxing gloves and we're not afraid of no turtle. I can bring in Hitmonchan and I know that I have enough special defense to where I can likely take one attack from this thing and fire off a Drain Punch in return. So that's actually where I benefit from being slower there as I get health back. And they actually decide to conserve the Blastoise. They're gonna switch that thing out and go directly into the Latios. The absolute mad lad just gets rid of the Shell Smash setup, which honestly ends up being a great play because, you know, Latios comes in extremely nicely on Hitmonchan. It takes a little bit of chip here. But at this point, I have two options. Either I stay in and go for an Ice Punch and take a whole bunch of damage for, from some crazy shit like a Luster Purge or whatever these things are rolling with, and Baby Groot's ass does not have time for that. I do want to conserve the Hitmonchan. Being at as much health as possible will be nice for the late game because I have, you know, Iron Fist, Mach Punch with the Punching Glove for priority later on and knowing that the Blastoise is steel over there. So I decide to go into Chester Cheeto out here who just comes directly into a trick. Honestly, got to be one of the most jarring situations as a Pokemon. You come directly out of your Pokeball and then all of a sudden you're getting tricks played on you. So I end up with a Choice Scarf, and that's actually not really the end of the world here. I give him my heavy duty boots, uh, but at this point I figure don't be wearing my boots, bro. I'm gonna try to go for the knockoff and get rid of them. However, they just end up switching into Pachirisu. And yeah, they brought the squirrel. Listen, Pachirisu does a few things. It, it clicks Nuzzle and paralyzes stuff and then goes for like Super Fang. So 
I, I get rid of the item here and I decide to switch into the Swampert. Obviously, I have a great matchup with the Swampert. I know that even if it's Super Fang, it won't be able to take care of me and then I can just kind of click Earthquake and do, you know, some good old fashioned Swampert hurt in action. So I bring in the Pert here. They do go for the Nuzzle. I told you, this thing just wants to Nuzzle me. It's damn adorable, but I would rather, you know, crush this little guy in the crevice of an Earthquake. It's not personal, it's just it, it's the game we play out here. So Swampert is now in a great spot. But I also know that they do have the Latio switch into an Earthquake. So I'm actually just going to click the Stealth Rock instead, try to punish some switches here, and they do end up bringing in the Latios. So listen, this thing is a problem. It stole my boots, it hits extremely hard, and I don't have a whole lot of options against this thing. But what I do have also is Swampert and his big-ass tail ready to go for a knockoff. This thing with access to knockoff is amazing because in the range that the thing's at, I actually have a high chance to kill here. And they end up even going for the Calm Mind. Buddy is just going all in on the Latios. And this thing is an ext it's literally a damn jet. But I tell his ass to knock it off. And that is going to take care of the Latios. So Swampert out here with the coverage. And the icing on the cake is I get to knock off the heavy duty boots. Because those probably didn't even fit that well anyway. I can't even... I can't imagine Incineroar in Latios have the similar foot size. But it's beyond the point is now they decide to go into... Decidueye. It's the Hisuian one, and I don't really know what this thing wants to do, but it ends up going for the bulk up. There's just set up all over the damn place, and I'm just living on the edge of danger. But the reason why I stay in and go for the flip turn is because the slower flip turn allows me a safe switch into whatever I like, and it is absolutely time for the puff balls of death, which are <laughs> the Dodrio. This three-headed bastard is here to do two things, and that is eat berries and destroy stuff. So I decide to bring in the Dodrio, and this puts me in a great spot because I have a great speed tier against the remainder of their team, and I know that this thing being four times weak to drill peck is not going to have a good time, which I do decide to go for, and absolutely demolishes that thing even with the plus one defense. Does not matter. We drill peck him with all three heads, pause, and now they get a free switch into whatever they like, which ends up being Electivire, where you're thinking... Yeah, that's a pretty bad matchup. I'm just going to get absolutely zapped into the Shadow Realm. However, now we can actually go for what this thing is built for. Now, I go for the Endure, and I imagine they probably go for that Supercell Slam. No way that this thing bulk ups. Please don't bulk up. They actually do go for that Supercell, and with the Endure, I'm barely hanging on. Snapped all of my damn necks. However, we do live with one HP, and that is exactly the spot we want to be, because now we get some energy from the Olichi Berry. That's going to boost this thing's attack to the point where now... A flail from Dodrio hits like an absolute truck. Do not sleep on the Dodrio. I can now outspeed because I'm faster and go for the flail, which flail has always been a hilarious move to me because it's kind of just like a normal type move where it's just like, I don't know, they just swing around and do some damage. But that is a lot of damage because down goes the Electivire and now they get to switch into Pachirisu, who is in fact still slower. I may be a bird that cannot fly, but we quick as hell out here. And I can just go for another flail. I could click the drill run for the coverage, but honestly, uh, the 200 base power flail is, is, is definitely killing the squirrel. So down goes that thing, and now they decide to go into Infernape. So I'm thinking, hold on, if they didn't bring Infernape in with Mach Punch in before Pachirisu, it means they probably don't have it. But I'm going to go for Endure here just to see if they want to click the Mach Punch and just kind of scout. However, I'm an idiot. They click the freaking Poison Jab, which puts me in a situation where I do Endure the hit, but I do also run the risk of getting poisoned. And we dodge the absolute bullet there. So we don't get poisoned. We take no damage. And at this point, they don't have the priority with the Infernape. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you carry the priority. Because all of a sudden you turn the corner and there's a Dodrio with diamonds on his head. And he's just absolutely whipping that ass with a flail. So I <laughs> go for the Terra Normal. Just to guarantee that this is enough damage. Was it probably already before? Yeah, but we're, actually, we're making sure that this Infernape gets blasted into next Thursday. So that's going to take care of it. And honestly, when I started setting up this Dodrio, I didn't imagine it was going to poke this much of a hole in the team. I was going to see if it could just do like a little bit. But at this point, we're in a pretty crazy spot because their final Pokemon is Terra Steel Blastoise. Now, I have the drill run for this, but Flail literally still does more damage. I'm going to go for that Terra Normal Flail, and that is actually going to knock that thing out from that range. And that is honestly kind of ridiculous. So... Dodrio straight up dunks on you if you don't have the priority, and I thought that it was really cool to see this thing actually get some, some attention. He's, he's a cool little guy, not enough people show respect to the Dodrio. So if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like equals one respect for every Dodrio head out there. So I guess click the like button three times, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.